We'll be speaking to Sriman, who is a BBA student at ESSEC Business School and is currently on exchange at UC Berkeley, and he's studying business. So, hey, Sriman, thanks for taking the time. Could you tell us more about your experience studying at ESSEC? I know you'll be graduating in about 2025, and you also have the experience of going to the U.S. and studying at Berkeley. So, could you tell us more about how that experience has been since your first year? Uh, so first of all, hello everyone, I'm Srimon, and I think uh, I started my schooling in ESSEC in Paris. Um, so when you compare how things work in France or in Europe in general and how things work in the US, I would say first of all, um, in terms of, um, I think I would like to put it this way, in France or in Europe in general, it's more exam focus so more or less you study a lot and it's more or less graded on an exam where you do your midterms your finals and then those determine your entire grade and it's more like you have your freedom on how to structure your time and how to study or prepare for your exams but more in the u.s it's more like continuous process so every day you're going to have assignments every week you need to finish your work and you'll be continuously graded rather than you'd be graded on a specific exam which um which i feel in, in the sense you get to learn more things in a more structured way because i know from a personal experience that a lot of students kind of try to finish everything at the last minute and it doesn't just work in the u.s because if you do that, you just like you need to finish everything, and that's how the grades accumulate, which is something very different for me. Even coming from India to going to France and in the US, it's I feel it's you need to continuously be good, not just you can write the exam and then you can finish your stuff, but more like I feel learning you can learn a lot of things if you actually put in your efforts. And I think you also have more of a ground to express things. For example, let's say you don't agree something with the professor in the US, it's really appreciated that you talk about it or like, you know, share your views with the class, but feel there's a more conservative um, approach in Europe. And yeah, so those are the two things which I would say are the like most different things. And I would also say emphasis on projects, uh, assignments and readings more importantly. Uh, you get to just learn about a wide range of things in the US, uh, which I think is really cool. So those are, I would say, like some of the major things which I've noticed, at least like now about like two months since I've started Berkeley. Yeah, I think that's great to hear. And personally, from my experience as well, I studied at Canada and it's it's yeah. quite similar to the US and it's yeah. approach to learning. It's, you know, doing projects and assignments over the course of maybe four months or during the semester. And you yeah. did mention in your last interview, you know, with us that you did CBSE. So I'm sure yeah, yeah. when you did ICSE, it's just one project and one exam and that determines everything. So yeah, I think the overall approach to learning tends to be better in the long run when you yeah. do projects, understand what you're doing, do the readings. And I'm sure that, you know, going from ESSEC to, uh, you know, the US to Berkeley will surely give you that exposure as well and also help, you know, there are always pros and cons to both approaches. But yeah, I think thanks for sharing that. But Overall, I mean, you've been in the U.S., I guess, for a couple of months now going on the exchange program. So overall, how have you noticed the college campus culture? Like, have you noticed lots of things and activities to do outside of class? Or like, what are the differences you would uh, tell an applicant today to consider when they apply both to the U.S. and uh, Europe? Because they're obviously quite different in culture and nature. Mm -hmm. um, to first start with the U.S., I would say, if you join a school as big as Berkeley or university, which almost does anything that you want to do, I feel if you think about something, there are people who want to do it. You know, maybe it's something like, I don't know, like different clubs, student associations, professional associations. The opportunities are just wide open here. And just starting with the clubs, there's, I think, 1,200 clubs in Berkeley and each one of them are pretty established and pretty famous and and outside of that Greek life is pretty good you know you get to meet a lot of people it's a whole new avenue of how it works and I feel things are more decentralized I would say you have like different sets and groups of people you just go with like different groups you do stuff and it's just separate worlds out here in the US which is pretty cool at the end of the day because I feel you can meet so many more people um, at least from my experience, because I didn't go to a university in Europe. It was just a business school, which is yeah. way smaller than what it is here. And I would say, so you have a lot of lot more things to do here in the sense of you can just 
choose what you want to do and then there are all these people and you just have a wide range of people who you can cover and also in terms of networking and stuff every single day there's one event or another event going so you just go out like you know you this all the associations they have meetings and it's it's just um it's pretty cool that the wide range of things that you can do but more in the sense of europe what i would say at least in the sense of essex business school or france in general is not knowing the language could be a big barrier because when i went to france i didn't speak french but the student ex student life experience in europe genuinely depends on whether you integrate with the college's culture or not because for me when i joined the sec i in in the first few months i wasn't really into it but later i tried to join the student council and i tried to do stuff according to the language you know the way the school operates and i feel once you kind of get that get into that uh, everything goes really well there too but i do know for a fact that some international students don't like the way it happens because it's very niche and it really depends on your taste but um i would say if you're considering between going to the us or the europe um you should definitely also think about um the system of major and minor which i think it's really cool in the in the us and canada because when i was in my business school in essex it was purely business you do stuff related to business and i feel um i was in exposed to some other aspects but here when i look at people from berkeley you can learn things in different domains it opens up to different opportunities which i personally feel is something that i missed out on and i feel it's it's something that you also need to keep in your mind on what you want to learn and what you're exactly focused to and if you're not very specific on something that you want to do i would say go for a university which emphasis is on covering multiple aspects yeah for sure because i think berkeley is in the heart of california i think just yeah. being in that environment also really helps if you're a business student looking to see the latest cutting edge technology and innovation within that field so i'm sure you know uh, the global bba at essex really gives you that exposure to you know visit different areas, uh, learn more outside of just, you know, France. Because I did see that, you know, ESSEC has business schools in Morocco, Singapore, as well as, you know, in France, obviously. But could you tell us more about the program overall, like across, you know, the four years, since you're almost, you know, in the fourth year now, how has your experience been with some of the courses which you've been taking both in, uh, you know, France, as well as maybe in other locations, in comparison to like the courses which you'd be doing right now at, you see Berkeley as well. Definitely. Um, so I think you made a really good point there because if you look at ESSEC, you can move around so much and it's it's a it's a once in a lifetime experience at the end of the day because I've been talking to people, permanent students in Berkeley and most of them don't get to do an exchange or they just spend their whole uh, four years in, in the actual campus. Mm, I feel that's a really cool thing about ESSEC because you start in Paris, you're there for two semesters, and then you get to go to Singapore, you come back and you go for an exchange for a year. I feel you go to uni, you have your network in one place, but when you go for exchanges like these, you just get to, first of all, when you're young, you get to meet people from all over the world. You can go to so many different places, learn about what are the different trends and stuff in the place. feel it helps you both on a personal growth point and also your professional growth point. And it's just like, it's once, I would say it's a very once in a lifetime opportunity. Like when are you just going to, I don't know, go to Morocco and live there for like four, four months, you know, it's something that at least if I think from my point of view, something that I would never have the opportunity to do. And I feel more or less about the program. And also I really like the fact that we are emphasis on, em the emphasis on us to do two internships and one humanitarian internship, which is, which is something that even uh, I would, what I feel is sometimes students lose track on how to prioritize their professional commitments, at least when they start school. And just putting an emphasis is on getting an, in so somehow you need to get an internship in your year one, kind of teaches you how hard it is. And it kind of sets you up that, okay, this is not as simple as what people think to be. I, I need to know what I have to do. And just cultivating that, um, mindset when you're young it really uh, personally I struggled a lot in my year one when I wanted to find an internship but it kind of uh, taught me what's the procedure and how we have to do it now and I feel it's just part of the pro 
process and it might feel pretty harsh at the start that your school expects you to find you know something at the start of the year but moreover as you progress through the years you kind of know why they do all of that whether it's the traveling or whether it's your compulsory internships or just moving around going for exchanges i feel it's a very put together very well put together program and if you're an international who's even considering to learn a new language french can be pretty useful and essec also teaches you so many other languages i would definitely say go to essec and even if not it has a really good name in all over europe and also it acts it has very good partners in the us so kind of helps you get an avenue across all different areas which i think it's it's a very unique opportunity yeah i think just from hearing it from your experience and perspective i think yeah, it's something which will really help you become like a global citizen, allowing to meet people from all across the world. Because imagine once you graduate, you would probably know people from so many parts of the world, but just by traveling around to different campuses, you know, learning your languages. And I'm sure, you know, once both of us graduate and we start working, that opportunity of traveling around the world, that flexibility isn't going to be there. So I think definitely, I think taking up this opportunity in your undergrad and your younger years will definitely help in the future because you know, once you graduate, there's so many opportunities available for you now. You can maybe yeah. consider living in the U.S., working there for a couple of years. If you like Paris even more, though, you can just go there, go to Singapore if you like. So I think this global BBA is like a great program for students who may not have like a fixed mindset of what they want to do. But if they're very really willing to be flexible and see where they where they want to go and explore places, I think it's a great program, not only from the educational and academic aspect from it, but also from your personal life experiences and just having those are quite essential as well. So thank you for giving us that overview. But, you know, last and final question, like the last few questions I'd like to ask is like, what tips would you give to a student applying for like the global BBA program? Because obviously, like I think last interview also, when my brother was interviewing, you talked about the various, you uh, talked about the various uh, time time uh, stamps for when you can apply to SX. So what suggestions would you give to a person applying and what rounds would you suggest they apply to so that they have higher chances of making it to the program? Mm -hmm. um, so SX has four rounds for applications. So you start from, it starts from October, I think, and it goes to December. The second round is from Jan to March, March to May and May to May to July or June mid. I'm really not sure of the time uh deadlines exactly. I guess you need to look up to the website. But from uh what I've heard from talking to the management and also the recruitment uh process of this uh, board of the school, um, they usually say that it's easier to get in, in the initial rounds. And I've also known from personal experience talking to friends that if you apply in the first few rounds, you sometimes don't even uh, need an interview if your if your profile is good enough, and I think it's just an easier route to take. And I got in in the last round, and apparently in the last round it's kind of more harder to get in because I it's at the end, and a lot of people just apply to have options or or just in general, a lot of people you know people like to rush things at the end and just there's more applications at the end. And at the end of the day, it's just number game. It's an, it's a game of numbers. And I feel uh, the earlier, the better. So if you're applying to a sec, I would definitely recommend applying in the first um, rounds, you know, plan your application accordingly. Don't do it in a rush. Your essays are going to be really important. And honestly, I feel what they expect is you need to show your interest on why you want to be there, not particularly in your profession or something, but more like, I want to explore new things. I'm ready to learn because you're going to learn everything from the scratch about the, about the entire business world. So um, just show you're motivated. Have your essays, cover letters uh, written pretty good. And honestly, just put in, just be interested and be diligent. And I think you'll be fine with the application. Okay, thanks so much for that overview. And just one final question is you did mention that, you know, uh, when you applied and you went to campus, you didn't have too much of experience with English. So, you know, I'm sure right now, you know, you've been there for a longer time now. So uh, what tips would you give to a student when they're like moving to a new place, especially like France, where there's like a bigger and a larger language barrier? What suggestion would you give them to sort of learn French? And are most of the courses French or English? Like, is there a variety of two? And how would you like recommend a student to navigate that aspect of university life? 
So for a set, I would say French is definitely not a barrier because your classes are going to be in English and they're going to be taught pretty well as well because the professors who they have are from all over the world and even the French professors are very established people who have like proper knowledge of the language. So in terms of academics, I didn't, really don't think it's an issue. But the main issue arises in the student life. And the thing is, most of the international, we, there's a lot of internationals in ESSEC. I think there's around like 40% of the entire school is international. So that's like 250, 300 people in your batch. And more or less, Essex culture is also in the way that you'll be friends with your second years, third years, and some of your fourth years. So it's like all the internationals club together when you live in those residences. It's very easy to meet people. And the the culture of ESSEC, the way it's set up, there's a student council election, which kind of makes the older ones to merge with the younger ones. So the culture of getting integrated, I would say it's really easy in ESSEC. It's, uh, it's just in a way that there's a barrier between the French speakers and the English speakers. But to get the ideal experience, I feel international students should just put in some efforts to go out of their way to just collaborate with French students or like, you know, just try to get into, I I would say like if some, there are some things which might seem a bit new to international students, the way the French people socialize, you know, going to the school's bar and stuff like that. Um, you just need to adapt to it. Just go out of your comfort zone a bit. Try to go with your international friends there. Try to get to know them as a group because as an individual who doesn't speak the language, it, it's really hard. So just it's very easy to establish a group for yourself when you're international, but just make sure that you also engage with the French culture. And I, to start, I, I wasn't the best at it, but then like as it went on, like I integrated really well and it didn't seem as a problem to me. At the start, I felt that I should have known French or like it's an issue, but honestly, it's a place to learn. And if you integrate, not integrate, just uh, go out of your comfort zone with your friends and try to like get to know people better. It just works out at the end. And Essex is honestly one of, it's a really fun place to be at. And and yeah, and I think the one of the biggest issues is just um, if you don't speak French, I would say, the biggest issue comes uh, with, while finding internships. So I would say focus on applying if if you really if you really have zero French at the start when you start ESSEC, I would say try to apply more on the other EU countries a bit or UK the most and just try to um, focus on how you plan your professional aspects rather than worrying. Your student life will be fine, but it's more about your professional aspects and where you want to go. You can plan your exchanges based on that. Maybe you're joining ESSEC, but then later if you want to go to the US or have some other uni in your resume, so you can more or less apply to other markets. So just planning that would be the bigger issue rather than starting it out. But I would say overall, there are you can do it. It's definitely doable and it's a wonderful experience to be in this sec. Yeah, thanks so much for that overview. I think that really answers some students who apply to sort of France or other countries or that language barrier. But I think you seem to mention that it's not too bad of a transition. Like if you put some effort aside from just academics, to learn the language, adjust well, I think it'll be a great way of gelling and even socializing with others who, you know, who may have French as their main language. So Thank you so much for taking the time. I really appreciate oh, all your uh, insights and uh, advice and tips. And I wish you all the best in your exchange uh, at UC Berkeley. I'm sure you'll have some great experiences and a lot of lot to take from to go back when you once you go back to France. Yeah. So thanks for taking the time. Thank you so much, man. You too. Have good luck with your uh, studies in Canada. Yeah, thanks so much.